All right, guys, it finally happened. The thing we were waiting for has come to pass. Kawhi Leonard has chosen a team, and I think he's joining joining the team that no one expected him to, but that he was going to join all along. He's going to the L.A. Clippers. This is the Hoops Nerd Show. Guys, this... First off, I was watching Stranger Things tonight, and he kind of ruined Stranger Things for me. Kawhi, did you have to do this, like, at 12 o'clock at night on a Friday? Uh, the reason that this took so long was because they were obviously making a trade because Kawhi Leonard is not just going to the Clippers. He's bringing Paul George with him. Paul George and Kawhi Leonard are joining up in L.A., and... It costs the Clippers a lot because the Clippers are sending a ton back to Oklahoma City, but you've got two of the best wings in the league, two MVP caliber players, not just all-stars, not just all defensive teams, but MVP level players joining together on the on the Clippers. Uh, it's going to be arguably the best team in the West. I mean, you've got uh, the Clippers, the Jazz, uh, the Rockets will still be good. Some people like Denver. But really, you've got the Clippers up top. Who knew this would happen? Obviously, Kawhi did. And reports are out there that Kawhi was kind of laughing at all the reports about the Lakers and the Raptors. He knew all along he was going there. And the reason they were waiting was to get this trade set up. Paul George requests a trade from the Thunder to go to the Clippers with Kawhi. And the haul that the, that the Oklahoma City Thunder are getting back is massive. Four plus... Pl Four plus first round picks, plus Shea Gilgis Alexander, plus, uh, and it's late, guys. I had to finish late Stranger Things so I could record this. Plus Shea, uh, Shea Gilgis Alexander, plus uh, Gallinari, and then the four plus picks, pick swaps, all of this. We'll get more information as it comes in, but the Oklahoma City Thunder get a haul, so they get a lot out of Paul George. Paul George and Kawhi get to join forces and be in L.A. like Paul George always wanted, like Kawhi Leonard always wanted. And really it feels like, well, there's two losers in this trade. Really, it's the Raptors and the Lakers. Oh, boy, the Lakers are losers in this because the Lakers are now throwing money at, like, whoever's left. Danny Green for $15 million a year for two years. $30 million for Danny Green. Are you kidding me? And then – uh J JaVale McGee, I guess the Lakers are just cratering because they weren't able to get Kawhi Leonard. They're just like getting whoever they can at this point. And the Raptors, they lose Kawhi Leonard, but the Raptors are even winners because they won the title. So the Raptors are winners in this. They knew that it was a long shot to get Kawhi Leonard back and they won the title. So it doesn't even matter. They get the title and now they can rebuild. We'll see what the Raptors do at this point now that Kawhi Leonard's leaving. But that's the thing. You won the title, so the Raptors already won. They've got a title under their belt. It would have been nice to have Kawhi Leonard rejoin them, but it just sounds like Kawhi Leonard was always going to go to the Clippers, and it was just a matter of making this trade go through for Paul George. We'll see how good the, the Clippers become because now they've got two premier wings. You combine that with Landry Shamit, Patrick Beverly, and Montrez Harrell, you've got a really good team. It's going to be interesting to see how good they are, but you've got two premier wings that can score and isolate. They'll get buckets, buckets in the playoffs. The Clippers are probably the number one seed in the West now. Exciting stuff, guys, but we'll see how good it, it goes. Um, sorry, Raptor fans. I know you wanted Kawhi Leonard, but I have to say you won a title, so it can't be too bad, right? I know you wanted it, and eventually you'll get uh, some guys, and you've got some nice things to build around in Toronto. But Kawhi Leonard now joins uh, Paul George on the Clippers, and everyone can be happy because the Lakers are cratering. Uh, LeBron James didn't get everything he wanted. He can go cry in L.A. And Anthony Davis, who just sort of destroyed the Pelicans, gets to go to L.A. and not win a title because it's just him and LeBron and then a bunch of uh, – overpaid role players who are past their prime. So even the Pelicans are winners in this because they get Zion Williamson and all the picks from the Lakers. The Lakers are absolute losers, losers in every way, shape or form. It's so bad right now to be a Lakers fan. And I love it. Poor Laker fans are just crying tonight. You, Oh, that's the biggest loser of all this. Are you kid? And 
LA Ambition or whatever his name was. You guys are taken to L tonight. Enjoy this L, Arya. Don't ever tweet again. Don't ever say you got sources, capital S sources. Get out of here with this. You didn't know anything and you were tweeting these things like you thought you were Woj. You're a loser is what you are, Arya, Abraham, or whatever his name is. I already forgot. It doesn't matter, you losers. RD ambition or what it was. Like, oh, the Clippers are out of it. It's going to the Lakers. It's just a matter of time. They're just figuring out all the... No, no. Goodbye. Goodbye forever, Laker fans. Goodbye forever, Magic Johnson. Rob Palinka, you trash. You don't know what you're doing. You're giving out crazy money to bad players. LeBron's prime is ruined, but this is what he asked for. And that's the biggest thing of all. Kawhi and Paul George both just refused to play with LeBron James. Now it's just Anthony Davis, LeBron. Uh, you know, the, the order of things has come to fruition in the NBA. Kawhi Leonard snapped his fingers like Thanos. And now there is equality throughout the NBA. Really, anyone can win it now, whether it's Utah, Golden State, the Clippers, even L.A. will still be good because they have LeBron and Anthony Davis. But there is equality now in the NBA. No super team. And I love it. I hope you guys love it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Hoopster channel, guys. I'll talk to you later.